everyone and welcome back to my reef. As you can see, my tank looks a little bit off today. That is because I traded in my old body Nanobox Reef Light for the new style body. Um, I borrowed the power bulb lamp from my Pico tank just for a couple of days to light up this little 10 gallon tank I have here um, just because I didn't want everything to be without light for a full week um, so I've sort of been moving the Pico light back and forth between the two tanks but I have my nano box back and upgraded it is still in the box I haven't opened it yet so I'm going to do a little unboxing and then I'm gonna set up the new light so here is my box that came from Nanobox. Um, I did already cut the tape open because no one wants to see me use a knife or scissors. I am very dangerous. Um, so let's go ahead and see how it's packaged. Um, we've got lots of bubble wrap and packing paper. So we'll get all this out of the way. We've got... Looks like we've got some information here. Thank you for choosing Nanobox and uh, Dave's business card. A couple little stickers there, so I'll put those off to the side. We've got the new setup with the controller in here attached to the light a single power source which is nice because before I had a separate plug for the bluefish the new light nice and sleek it's got a protective cover here this is for oh that must be how I plug it in ha so it looks like all I have to do is plug this in clamp this onto my tank and get the bluefish going okay so I clamped the light on I plugged it in I turned it on and right away my old settings were still there the light turned on it looks great um, I'm going to go ahead and also show you the plug area um, because there is one thing I noticed with this new upgrade. Um, like I said, I'll show you that in a second. Um, but I really like how sleek and slim the new body of the Nanobox lights are. But that's about it. I mean, that's really the only thing that changed. The light, the LEDs are still the same. Um, it was just an upgrade to the body and the cable and plugs that I got. So let me show you the plugs. So I actually haven't shown you guys the detail of the electrical for this tank yet. It was a video I was planning on doing in the future. For the purposes of this video, I'll give you a quick rundown. Um, as you can see, I have a power strip um, inside of a crate and all of the wires are arranged in that crate. Um, I usually do have this crate pushed flush against the stand um, because I've been doing stuff with the electrical and the, the nano box light, it's pulled away. Um, this is also how I get to the individual switches when I need to do maintenance and that's how I turn off the pumps for feeding and everything. Um, but normally the crate is pushed up against the stand. Um, I've got the power plugged in here. This is the controller with the bluefish. Um, like I was saying in just a few moments ago, um, this cable that's connecting the light to the bluefish controller is actually shorter than previously. Um, there's not really a lot of slack here and before I was able to put this it was actually in this back corner um, but right back here um, in the crate so it looks like I'm going to have to rearrange a few things in the crate to make sure that um, this can fit inside. Um, there's just not really room right now so I'm going to kind of leave it as is for the most part so a few people have asked me um, what my settings are on my nano box. I'm just going to go into the Bluefish app really quick and show you guys. Um, this is actually the Bluefish 2 app which I don't have as much experience on. Um, I pretty much haven't changed any of my, lighty, of my light settings in a long time. I just set it and forget it. Um, so as you see it opens and it shows that I have my location set in Fiji. 
This panel here is if you wanted to see the demo, fast forward your time, see what it looks like in a thunderstorm, or um, put your lights on photo mode to take pictures. This is that scene, scene timer mode. Um, it sets, um, I have it set to 10 minutes, so it'll change the blues and the whites for 10 minutes. Um, that's like the photo mode. Um, again, this little button is for the location that it's set at. I could change the location if I wanted to. Um, I can see the details of the location and the details of uh, my time when I have my lights to come on and turn off. And then this is just a graph of how my lights are set up. And you can see I just have the two channels, the whites and the blues. And then in settings, this is where I would be able to change any of my lighting. So I've got the My Morning, which starts at 1 p.m. My Midday. My Evening, which is basically a mirror image of my morning. And then my Night Settings. I do have the simulation of natural sun, simulation of clouds, simulation of storms, as well as the simulation of the lunar cycles. These are just a couple other settings in here as well. And then there's system settings in here. Um, quick setup and um, an extras page with the user guide. Again, I haven't really used this app very much. Um, I sort of set my lights and leave them, um, and that's about it. So that's basically it for this quick short video today. I'm really glad I got my Nanobox light back from Dave. I think he's a really great guy to work with. I think he has great products, and his prices are comparable to other lights uh, for reef tanks. Um, as another side note, I do have Nanoboxes over both tanks. They both have very similar lighting, similar schedules. Sunrise at 11 p.m., sunset at 10 p.m. I just like to keep it simple that way, knowing that both tanks do have basically that same schedule. Of course, if you guys have any questions about my Nanobox lights, any questions about either one of my tanks, please leave those questions in the comments down below. Um, I hope you like this video and you decide to subscribe. I will see you guys next week.